Happy Thanksgiving. Today we're going to make a 23 pound microwave turkey. We are going to put it into a microwave bag after oven bag after we have greased the bird inside and out with canola oil. We're going to follow the directions of the, the Adventures in Microwave Cooking from Montgomery Ward's book and we're going to probably follow this directions here. According to the book for a 10 pound turkey, it takes about an hour and eight minutes to make. But we're going to make a 23 pound turkey. So we're going to cook it on high for 80 minutes total. So it'll be 40 minutes one direction and 40 the other. And then we'll turn the bird over and cook it for 35 minutes, turning it halfway through each time. And then cover it with foil for 30 minutes. The overall cooking time for this bird should be three hours. So let's get to cleaning it and then we'll start show you how I grease the bird. Okay, uh, the next part of this is to add the oil. I just pour a little bit in my hand. Oh, I use one hand, that way I only mess up one hand. But you oil the outside of the bird everywhere and then you also put a little bit of oil on the inside of the bird. You want to cook both inside and out at the same time. So. Um, We'll just grease this up a little bit. Over without dropping it. Okay, let me finish oiling it and then I'll show you putting it in a bag. That's all. Now that I finish greasing the bird, I, uh, I'm going to put it inside that bag. This is a tricky part though, because especially if you're doing it by yourself, to try to get the whole bird in this bag. But as you can see, this fits here. So put that in there. And dry my hands off a little bit. And then we just close it up. And use the twister that comes with this. And then, because when it cooks it, creates a lot of steam, you need to put vents with a poker. I usually poke one hole in each side of the bag. And that way, when you're cooking, the juices don't come out if you put it on the bottom. So when you cook it, you start out with it down like this. We're going to cook this for 40 minutes like this. Then we're going to turn it like this in the oven. And then we're going to flip it over, cook it this way, and then cook it this way. So that's four turns. And then it should be done. Um, one of the things I didn't mention uh, last movie I made is that I actually use a glass plate that I cook the turkey on. I set it on this inside the microwave because it makes it easier to pick it up and move it around. Also, uh, I, I was kind of rushed, but I didn't show that I used a skewer to poke the holes in the side of the turkey. Well, here we are again. Uh, this is the microwave that came out of the garage. We keep this all year just to make turkey with. This is an old Montgomery Ward microwave. Uses a little bit lower wattage than the higher wattage ones, so it seems to cook fairly well when cooking the turkey. Um, the newer microwaves are much smaller, as you can tell, and they're higher in wattage, so it probably burned the turkey. And then uh, inside is a glass plate that is removable. So once the turkey gets fully cooked and it's water juice all over the place, it usually leaks out in the plate. And that's why I usually only use a small hole in the turkey in the side of the bag so that it doesn't make quite so much of a mess. Well, let's get this bird started here. Okay. Well, there she is, and she's ready to go. So close the door. We'll sit here for uh, 40 minutes. It's already on high, and we'll just push the start button. It'll be about two and a half hours cooking time, and then sit out for half an hour with foil. And uh, we'll just let it do its thing then. It is important to mention here that the, um, the bird is laying in there with the uh, breast side down. We want the back up so that during this high temperature cooking that it burns the uh, back of the uh, turkey and not the breast side. So we'll, we'll turn it over when we go to roast. So it's going to be 40 minutes this direction and then we'll turn around and cook it for another 40 minutes. I turn it around 
And so now I'm going to start it for another 40 minutes. Well, it's finished cooking for uh, the 40 minutes. So now I turned it over upside down. The bread side is up, so now I'll cook it for another 35 minutes on roast. And we'll take a look at it after that. Now we're going to start the last part of 30, I'm going to cook it 40 minutes on roast. And uh, we'll see what it looks like after that. Okay, the turkey's done. I'm going to take it out and check the temperature, and if it's okay, I'll put the foil on. We'll eat it soon. Looks like the uh, turkey has reached a temperature of over 165. It's reading about 185 or so. So we'll just cover it with foil for a half hour and then we'll be ready to eat. The turkey is all set and uh, we'll let it sit for a half hour and uh, finish cooking and then we already eat it. Here's the final product of the turkey. This foil is just taken off it and it's all set to go.